Good evening, fair woman of the night. Come, live with me in my mansion and leave this dangerous life behind. I will shower you with the finest jewels and dress you in the finest clothes. You shall never want again in love or in life. No. No, wait, I meant to say yes. I meant to say yes. Oh. Oh, I can't believe it. I meant to once in a lifetime. I meant all. Oh. oh, I know. You always do that. You want to go for coffee? No. Yes. Yes. Oh, come yes. on. Yes. I sure? meant yes. Oh, there'll be lots of billionaires in your future. Did you know that movie stars get their hair cut every day? <laughs> it's true. Movie stars get their hair cut every day so no one will notice and make fun of them. Like at our school. At our school, one kid, Tossa Korgetsky, age nine. We used to think he shaved his head, but it turned out his dad was just strict. We were wondering if we could come in and talk to you at great lengths about the Lord. The Lord. Sure, come on in. I was just sweating to the oldies, because with all the casseroles I was given after my mom's untimely death, they left on me too much chubby fat. So now I must sweat to the oldies, because if you're fat, you end up living in a trailer park, gossiping, and craving country and western music. Yes, we understand. Yes, and there has been a period of grief in the home. Yes, can't trust a bug. Huh? See, I was training some smarter cockroaches into my own flea circus. But then when the light went on, they went AWOL. <laughs> Can't trust the bug. No. Mm. Yes. No, you alluded to the death of your mother. Mother. Yes. Do you have some news from her? <laughs> no. So then heaven doesn't exist? <laughs> I just can't drink like I used to when I was 40. What was that? A human hangover. Your father seems to have the devil in him. The devil in him? No, it's 64 ounces of navy rum. I eat things for money. I do. I eat seemingly inedible objects for small sums of money. <laughs> well, the scriptures are very... Okay, I'll eat your Bible. But it'll cost you a lot and take me several days of munching and snacking. No, no, we don't want you to eat our, eat Bible. our Bible. We want you to read, read our, our Bible. Bible. Do you know that if your mom dies and you tell the bus driver, you can get on for free? Huh? Yeah, it's true. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Uh, Gavin. Yes, Father? Who are those two guys? Strangers in matching suits. Okay. Ah, tomato juice. Ah. No. Do you guys sleep in those suits? Uh, son, the inner workings of our religion are our own concern. Perhaps if you just held the Bible, something might sink yes. in. Like there's no heaven? I knew this one kid who wouldn't take blood transfusions, so instead they gave him apple juice. And in the autumn, he changed color fell out of a tree and died. <laughs> it's gross. 
Well, we're leaving now, and we're not ever coming back. Ever coming back. Okay, you're my new best friend. No, we are not your new best friend. Okay, bye. Dad, I have some bad news for you. Yeah. You're not going to happen. Surprise, surprise. No, it's because it doesn't exist. I guess that means that hell doesn't exist either. Really? What do you call this place? <laughs> Come on, Gavin. That's your old name. Hang on. What's wrong, Danny? Darn thing won't start. Maybe the spark plugs aren't firing. Thanks for the tip, honey, but would you let me please? Okay. What is wrong? I know. Dry now. Try it now. It's not starting. Damn. Hmm. Try it now. <sighs> hmm. Try it now. Come on, give her juice. Crank her. Crank her. Come on. Come on. Rats, I just don't get it. Just don't get it. Right now. Uh, just uh, rent a movie, build a fire. Yeah, yeah, just the two of us. Try it now! Try it now! Try it now! Dang! Daniel, no use. I got an idea. Okay, it's uh, ah, here's the problem. Come on, you little oh. rascal! One of the Thompson brats. Try it now. Eureka! Okay, let's go, Scooter. <laughs> okay, Phantom, here we come. We don't have time. really terrific. Getting up so early in the morning you don't have to rush? Yeah, yeah, that's terrific. But what's really terrific is you go out for a nice supper. Oh, that's just super. Isn't that great? Yeah. You know, we went to this one place last week. It's not too far. It's not too crowded. You can park the car. We had a beautiful time. Yeah, we went to this one place. It was just fantastic. They serve up really a tremendous meal. It's one of those Japanese places where they serve up the food right in front of you. That sounds fabulous. Yeah, it's one of the guys are there, you know, with their knives and the things they do with these knives. It's, it's just a show. It's it's just, it's fantastic. It's super. It's entertaining as hell. It's a hoot as yeah, well. Yeah, you know what's really, really great, I find, is you get up first thing in the morning. That's so super. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so 
boozer, 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 boozer. Oh, yeah. Ah. Here's something that Doug Lake used to do a lot. Oh, yeah? You get up first thing in the morning, you have your normal tremendous meal. Oh, sounds fabulous. You get dressed and you drive to work. Yeah, sounds great. No, no, but listen to the truly terrific part. You're driving to work and the radio's playing one of those fabulous old tunes. Oh. You know, and you're humming maybe. Yeah. And my God, the air. Mm. You get to work and you drive right by. Huh? It's Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> So, listen, I hope I'm gonna see you at the Christmas party. You kidding? You'd have to drag me away from that shindig. Nice band, nice spread. Wow, it's gonna be fun. Yeah. Last year's wasn't that great. What a hoot. This year, got a suit picked out. Nice shirt. Fantastic. Terrific. That's gonna be fantastic. Fantastically terrific. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 hmm? what's it? I never, um, normally. What's yeah. it? Why? I'm out here, but, um, it's okay. I was, with one, I, what is the matter? Why are you so nervous, eh? What is it you want, huh? Uh, well, I, what? I want, uh. So, would you like this woman to have sex with you for money, eh? <laughs> Is that what you would like, eh? Yeah. Uh, well, let me introduce you. Jocelyn, I would like you to meet... Uh, I am Nat. Uh, Nat. This is Nat. Oh, thank you. Hello, Nat. How Hello. Are you? So, Hello. Would, uh, why don't you two go together somewhere? Okay. Okay, Nat. Okay. So we go okay. now. Okay. okay. Leave me the sock. I'll use it later. Oh, sure. Well, okay. <laughs> I'm Kevin Hamilton McDonald, and I'm about to stun you with a remarkable set of facts. Years ago, people discovered the astonishing similarities between John F. Kennedy and Abraham Lincoln. Well, I too have made another eerie discovery. The astonishing similarities between my family, the McDonald's, <laughs> and the airport movie series. <laughs> Starring such wonderful actors as Dean Martin, Bird Lancaster, and Charlton Heston. Fact one! In the movie Airport, the lead character was a salesman who decides to blow up the airplane he is on so that his wife can collect the insurance money. In the McDonald family, my father was a salesman. Coincidence? <laughs> Fact two, Airport 75. In 1975, a sequel to the movie Airport is released starring Karen Black. In 1975, my mother dyes her hair black. <laughs> Airport 77, a movie in which a large jumbo jet is trapped underwater. In 1977, I fail my superfish swimming test because I can't hold my breath 10 seconds underwater. I'm also fat and therefore cruelly nicknamed Jumbo. <laughs> Coincidence! Fact 4, Airport 79, the story of a bitter millionaire who sends a nuclear missile. Hey! <laughs> I'm trapped! I'm trapped! Oh, sweet Jesus. The scene has crashed. I repeat, the scene has crashed. We need to get some help down there. Hang on, Mr. McDonald. We're coming for you. Come on, get him. Don't give up like Shelly. There we go. Hey, Chuck Heston. Coincidence? No, it's a madhouse. A So you were saying? I was saying that the uh, merger is yeah. sure. going properly. Yeah. Right. Sure. Mr. Shatner's here, sir. Oh. A sentiment. Gentlemen, Shatner, I'd like to meet my VP, Jay Brandon, and uh, this is everybody else. Well, pleasure to meet you, you dead-eyed corporate lackeys. <laughs> well, 
Shatner, I've heard a lot of good things about you from my friend Jim Taylor over at your head office. Oh, that's good to know. And he says that since you joined his company... Like I really care what a loser like that says. Let's just try and get this thing over with quickly so I can get down to the bar for a few drinks and maybe home in time to catch the last period of the hockey game. Shatner, are you listening? Oh, of course I am, sir. Like I have to hang on your every word. What do you say we get down to business? Yes, I think that would be best. All right. Yeah, hapless pack of unimaginative turds. What we're proposing is an exclusive use of our product with a 25% swapping of shares across the board. Then we buy up all your stock through a dummy corporation. Dummy corporation? What? You just said you were going to buy up all our stock. No, I didn't. Oh, my God. How did he know that? Because I heard you. Oh, my God. He can read my thoughts. The old... Bastard can read my thoughts. Hey, you just called Mr. Collin an old bastard. What? No, I didn't. Oh, my God, they can all read my thoughts. Must try to think of nothing. Look, we're willing to ignore your insults for the sake of the deal, but a hostile takeover is quite another matter. Hostile takeover? Who said anything about a hostile takeover? Must try to block my thoughts. La, 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 la. Stop that idiotic singing. La, la, la. My God, they can hear me blocking my thoughts. This is incredible. A whole company of telepaths. Why, this is like some Twilight Zone episode. Oh, I love that show. Especially the one where Burgess Meredith forgets his glasses and can't read his book. Oh, I like that one, too. Oh, my God, regroup. Create a diversion. Tell them I have to go to the bathroom. Yes, gentlemen, if you'd excuse me, I have to go to the bathroom for a moment. What a pathetic diversion. <laughs> <laughs> strange. Yes, but all these earthlings seem strange to me. Hmm. Oh, lunch time. So what do you think, girls? Do you like the new Coke? Um, I like the old Coke better, Rudy. Yeah, me too. Really, because I improved it quite a bit. I changed the formula to make it more like ecstasy, because it's really popular with the kids nowadays. Uh, Rudy, if I want to do ecstasy, I do ecstasy. If I want to do Coke, I do Coke. Yeah. Well, I suppose I could keep selling the regular Coke. Along with the new improved Coke, I could, uh, Call the old Coke, uh, no Coke. Yeah, that's right. And people could buy the Coke that they're most comfortable with, and I won't feel like such a complete idiot. Oh, uh, Rudy, don't be like that. Just that I worked really hard on this, you know? Rudy, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Uh, waste not, want not, eh? Yeah. Well, it's been a good day so far, Mother. Yeah? Brother's been okay. Oh, man, oh, man. Don't even go there if you know what's good for you. Give it a wide berth. Stay out of that room. You want to know why? I think we get the point, son. How's the baseball game going, Will? Good, we're still winning. Great, but if Kelly Gruber makes one more mistake, you'll have to change his name to... Kelly Boober. <laughs> My God, you're all peasants. So how's your new place? You mean my new small place that I had to move to because I couldn't afford my old big place? Oh, I thought that place was too big for you. Uh-huh. <laughs> hey, Will, did you see the news last night? Apparently, a millionaire died of a heart attack. Only the uh, newscaster said he suffered a fart attack. <laughs> you humorless sons of whores. Why don't you take a nap, son? I'm all right. All right. All right. Hey! Let's play with the kid. Oh, my God, Marty, I got a pencil stuck up my nose. 
Better let her laugh, you little piece of snot. Hey, 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 that's enough of that. Hmm? I mean, you either sit down and behave or you go home. It's Thanksgiving, for God's sake. You're right. I'm sorry, everyone. Supper time. Oh, God. I see. Mmm. Smells oh. great. Everything looks beautiful, Mother. <laughs> Thanks. You know, I don't think you people realize what I'm going through at work. You really have no idea. Over the years, I worked my way to third on the assembly line. Third! And suddenly I'm demoted to seventh just because I have seven fingers? <laughs> I may not remember how I lost the other three, but at least I can laugh about it. At least I can laugh. Ha 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 kind of dressing this year. I made it with raisin bread, and it's... I'd like to apologize for my life. Just been atrocious. And if it's all right, I'd like to sit down and eat. Of course it is, George. Thanksgiving's a time for family. Yeah. May I say grace, Mother? Why, of course, George. Dear Lord up in heaven, I thank thee for thy plentiful food, and I want to ask, what were you thinking? What were you thinking? Is this part of the big plan? Huh? Am I the punchline? 